guys, welcome again to Sita's Kitchen where we make food simple, delicious and healthy. Today, we're doing the whole grain um, spaghetti. With that, we'll add zucchini. I did two whole zucchini, about 15 asparagus, onion, a black tofu. I always do the organic black tofu. This is a whole block and uh, large tomatoes as you know I mentioned before that I always do the garlic ginger paste which I always prepare and have in the refrigerator extra chili if I need it for this also I will do the teriyaki sauce a tablespoon of coriander seed a tablespoon of uh, paprika and a teaspoon of roasted cumin again whatever other ingredients that you like you can add as much as onion you want more tomatoes it's all on your choice the most important thing is that add some veggies to your pasta um, equal amount so this way you're not just eating carbs you're eating other healthy meals to begin, I will start with the pasta, where I will put this in some water, boiling water, which is already here, boiling. I add salt and olive oil. That will boil down a little. It's important to add your salt in there before adding your spaghetti and your olive oil so it helps for not sticking together. Okay, that's on its way. It adds up nice to your sp um, spaghetti. So, at the beginning stage, try not to um, turn it too much. Just leave it like that and let one side start to get golden brown so it's starting to hold better. I'm not breaking up. Okay guys, so it's about five minutes now. Um, remember the beginning of your tofu will have that moist in there. It takes a little more time Okay, so it's to my liking like I said this beautiful golden brown and I'll just add my onions to that Some people do um, remove the tofu before putting in all this because of the moist from the onions and from the tomatoes. Honestly, I like the juice to add in to the tofu. I believe that's what makes it more delicious, really. Um, here, you could do a tablespoon. You could do two tablespoons. Or even more. Again, I love ginger and garlic. And I also have chili paste. If you like to know how to make this, you just um, send comment on the link below and I will, um, you know, tell, walk you through it. And let the garlic get even out. Let it distribute all over your tofu. Oh, you just the smell of ginger and garlic. And you see that? You can just add this on top of a, uh, a nice cup of white rice. Mm. With that now, I'll just add my dry ingredient again, coriander seed, paprika, and roasted cumin.
You see, I can play around with this. The tofu will not break. That's the best part of making it golden brown. At this point, lower your um, stove to, I just go about 4.5 or medium heat like you prefer. And here, I don't want it to be too, too soft. Okay, perfect. As long as it breaks in one squeeze like that. Alright, so this is done. Okay, so here, at this point, I'll add about one, two, about two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. Now, remember, this is a little salty. So, um,. I add a little little bit salt while I was cooking there so again taste it see how much salt you like um the teriyaki teriyaki how can I not get that right okay so here we go um right here with this juice and everything I'll add the asparagus remember don't worry about for me i don't steam it i just um put it in here let the heat get to it while it's steaming it grabs the juice from the tomato and the garlic remember zucchini which also make like a spaghetti so this is a lot. I might just add about, oh, let's see. Just like to add that in there. You don't want this to cook too much. I want the even amount of veggies and my um, spaghetti. the juice go over it and just cover it for for everything to the heat to get through it's time to check our veggies mm. I think it's you see the zucchini it's still green that's the best part of this and I'm just gonna go now and add it to my spaghetti I love, I, you know, being a vegetarian, using these special veggies just make me so happy. All mixed nicely. Can't go wrong, right? With all that. See, the spaghetti. And the zucchini is there. Okay, all mixed. Time to take.